cast and cook, we're gonna do the famous Tony Satri's jambalaya seasoning. Easy, we're gonna do it in the Dutch oven. The cast iron pots, the cast iron skillets, everything the Big Green Egg makes, it's just fantastic. You can cook everything on the Big Green Egg. We're gonna use some of the smoked sausage. We've got some chicken. We're gonna put the sweet and smoky seasoning on the chicken. We're gonna cook this, cook the peppers, the onions, a little olive oil. We're gonna cook it all in here and then we're gonna add the jambalaya. So what we're gonna do is take our Dutch oven, set it in on our expander, which allows you to cook so much more food. And we're gonna cook the jambalaya and then we're gonna put some croissant rolls on top of it. Mmm, it's gonna be good. So what we have is a red pepper, a red onion, the smoked sausage, the chicken, olive oil. We're gonna add the olive oil in there now. So we're gonna take the sweet and smoky seasoning from the big green egg, put it on this chicken right here. Really sharp knives from the big green egg. And what we're gonna do is just gonna cut the chicken how easy that cuts. You don't want too thick of pieces. The thinner the pieces, the faster it's gonna cook. A lot of the times you can you cut it up thin. You don't want too big of pieces. So we'll cut this and then these will all, they'll all turn. Do a half cut on them. And that's a perfect size to put in your Dutch oven. Then we'll just take our sausage. I like, instead of one piece, I like to cut four or five, six at a time. However many you can cut. It saves you a lot of cuts. We'll just cut this up. So now that we got our sausage all cut up, we'll just take that, throw it in there on top of the chicken. So as you can see, we've got onions, peppers, olive oil, sausage, chicken. Hey, look, you've got sweet and smoky seasoning from the big green egg. We're gonna add the Tony Satchery's jambalaya. So all you have to do with your Tony Satchery's jambalaya mix, two and a quarter cup of water, bring it to boil, add the content of the package, put the top on the Dutch oven, and you're cooking. So we have everything in the Dutch oven that we need. We have onions, peppers, chicken, Tony Satchery's jambalaya. It's ready to go. The water's boiling, it's cooking. We're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes. So about halfway through, we're gonna put the baking stone on. We're gonna add some biscuits. Mmm, it is gonna be so good. The big green egg is all you need. So we're just a few moments away from the Tony Satchi's jambalaya being done in the big green egg Dutch oven. We have the baking stone on the egg expander. We're gonna add a few crescent rolls. These don't take long at all. And we will have a meal for the whole family. So it looks like time's up on the kitchen sink jambalaya. The rolls look fantastic off the baking stone. Look at that, plump, ready to go. And then what you do is you put your egg mitt on because you do not want to burn your hand. Pull the jambalaya off. And what we have, boy, I sure hope this turns out good. I'm hoping that the timing was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Tony Satchery's jambalaya on the big green egg in the Dutch oven. Awesome crescent rolls on the baking stone. The big green egg, the food tastes better. So now that we've cooked the Tony Satchery's jambalaya in the Dutch oven on the big green egg. It's time to learn how to tie a knot, especially for those big bass you're gonna catch in a tournament. So the tip about tying a knot, especially with major league fishing or if you're in competition, one of the biggest things is speed. You wanna get things done quick. So there's two knots I tie. I either tie a double cinch knot or my favorite, which I'm gonna show y'all, is the Palmar knot. You just slide it through, double lines like that, Tie your knot, slide it through your hook, pull both lines tight, clip the end, and you are ready to go. Now that's how you tie a knot quick and you're back trying to catch fish.